Hello viewers, you are welcome again to Success Hour presented by Success Dimension Church, Ibadan, Nigeria. My name is Sunday Joseph Adenuga, the pastor in charge. God bless you and you are welcome. In this presentation, I'm going to be speaking to you on this topic, seeing the big picture of the real you. Seeing the big picture of the real you. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 28. If you read from verse 26, it tells you God's plan for man. When God has finished creation, he called a meeting of the Godhead in heaven and said, Let us make man in our own image, after our own likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowls of the air, over every living, every creeping things that creeped upon the earth. That was God's intention, that you should have dominion. That is God's intention, that you should dominate your world. As you know that your world is different from my world. Your world is a world of the area where you have influence. Now, seeing the big picture of the real you, the first, there are few facts I want you to understand. Number fact one, you were created in the image of God. That is what the word of God tells us in the book of Genesis chapter one from verse 26. So that you yourself can be as creative as God. That's why you are created in the image of God. That's why man is different from animals. Have you ever seen the kingdom of any kingdom of any animal? That have developed and grown so much that they have developed the art of making clothing or they have developed so much that they too now begins to make guns if animals are like people they could have one day decided that look we are tired of the way men are killing us especially the cows the cows could have had a meeting among themselves. They would have said, let's go and make bomb. Let's begin to fight war with man. But because man is the, in the image of God, man is created to dominate. Man is created to have dominion over the animals. Man is created to be the king in this world. That is why no animal can revolt. And come to fight against man. Man is awesome. Man is powerful. If you look around you, the world has not always been like this. Man has developed this world to this level that we find it today. Man has developed this world to the level of near paradise. You can now hear this broadcast because of the ingenuity of man's wisdom. You can communicate with me through phone because of the ingenuity of man's wisdom. Many breakthrough in science and technology is as a result of the dominion of man on the face of the earth. If man could, can make these types of advancement, and you are a man, then that means that there is something in you too that can bring this world to a better place than we all met it. That thing is inside you. That is what I want to whip this, this, this particular moment. That is what I want you to look onto this moment so that you can do something and do something good with your life. God made the heavens and the earth on this for six days. And on the seventh day he rested. After making everything, I believe, he handed it over to man and said, complete it. He didn't make the roads. He didn't create the cars. He didn't make the aeroplanes. 
He didn't make your house. He didn't make my house. He didn't make the clothes you are putting on. He created you and I and put us here. We are the ones that are using our ingenuity to bring all this development. As you are listening to me, there is something inside you that is calling for expression that this whole world can enjoy, that can make our world a better place. You have something. Give it. You have something on the inside. Develop it. Help this world. Let it be useful for this world. The Lord will help you. Thanks for listening. Once again, my name is Sunday Joseph Adenuga, the pastor of Success Dimension Church, Ibadan, Nigeria. God bless you. You can call me on phone with this number, plus two, three, four, eight, zero, five, four, zero, four, one, four, six, two. Or my email, Success Dimension Church at gmail.com. God bless you. Thank you. As you go this moment, may God give you the power and the strength to overcome and to win in every affair of life. In Jesus' name, go and win. Amen. <laughs>